Hey, it's another episode of the InDesign Junkie. My name is Howie, and today we're going to talk about creating contact sheets from Adobe Bridge and into InDesign CS3. Now, I say CS3 because I've heard that this feature has been very much reworked in CS4. I believe you still can create contact sheets through Bridge and into InDesign CS4, but the way you do it is going to be very different than the way it's done in CS3. So do keep that in mind if you've already upgraded or you plan on doing so. Now, first of all, what are contact sheets? Contact sheets are the arrangement of multiple image files onto a single page, usually as thumbnails or at a reduced size. You might want to work with contact sheets if, say, you're organizing a complex project that has lots of images, and maybe you want to print out all of those image, images so you can refer to them quickly without having to open each individual file on screen or having to print out each file on its own page. Uh, with Adobe Bridge and InDesign, you can create these contact sheets through an automated process that I'm going to show you now. So let's get started. I've opened here, or I'm displaying a folder in Bridge called Oman Photos, and this consists of 12 photos that I took on a recent trip to the beautiful country of Oman, which is in the Middle East. And what I'd like to do is create two contact sheets with six photos on each sheet for a total of the 12 that you see here. Now I could, if I wanted to, create contact sheets of just a few of the photos within the folder and not all of them by simply clicking and command clicking on the photos that I want. So say I just wanted to create one contact sheet consisting of four photos, I could select those and then start the process from here. But I want to create a contact, two contact sheets of all the photos that we see here, in which case I don't have to select any of them. Simply by selecting the folder in Bridge, Bridge knows that if I don't select any of the photos from there, that I want to be working with all of them. So let's get started. I'm going to go up to Tools, InDesign, Create cont InDesign Contact Sheet. And that brings up this dialog box. So let's get to it. I'm going to go here. I'm going to skip the preset setting and come back to that later. And I'm going to look at the layout drop down menu. We have a cross first and down first. This is to indicate the order of the images and whether we want them to appear sequentially in horizontal or vertical order. I'd like to stick with horizontal, so I'm going to leave a cross first selected. Now here in column rows is where we specify the layout of each contact sheet. And this, these settings are exactly what I want. I want six per page. And so three columns, two rows, three times two is six. And that's perfect. Now if you had, say, 12 photos that you wanted to place on a single page, you might want to go six times two, four times three. Uh, settings along those lines would work. Now if we go over here to auto spacing, I'm going to leave this selected. But if I was to deselect it, I could uh, customize the amount of space between each image. I like how Bridge uh, spaces out the images. It's, it's very even throughout, so I'm going to leave that selected. A couple more options here. If you'd like to rotate the image for best fit, I'm leaving that deselected because I want all my images to be right side up. Uh, if you wanted to give a little more extra presentation to the uh, photos on the page, you could select use gray image frames. I'm going to leave that deselected. Now let's take a look at caption. I'm going to uh, click define, and this is where I customize the caption information that's to appear below each photo. And the default actually is just the file name. So I'm going to select this and remove it for now so that I can show you how I got there. I'm also going to remove this information. So this is what you see if you were to start from scratch. And if and so right now, this is the variable data code for the file name. And that is the default, as I mentioned. Now you can add more information by clicking on this drop down menu. And you have an additional four options here. I'd like to add my creation date below the file name. So I'm going to select that and click add. And that gives us some more of this variable data, which really I don't understand that much. But I can deduce from looking at this code here that this stands for year, month, and date. Now I'm not too crazy with the year coming first, so I'm actually going to cut that out 
And then what I'd like to do is add slashes in between the month and the date and in between the date and the year. So I'm going to insert a slash here, paste the year back in, and I'd like the entire year, the four-digit year, to appear. So I'm going to type in two more Ys and then click Add. And now I have both file name and creation date here in the list. You can add more if you'd like. I'm going to stick with just these two. I can save the settings if I want. I'm going to skip that for now and click OK. Further on down the line, we have template. If you'd like to uh, use an InDesign template to appear, say, in the background of your contact sheets, you could select that. Click this to go locate the temp template on your computer. I'm going to leave that deselected. But I am going to select Save as PDF because what this does is it not only creates the contact sheets in InDesign, but it goes the additional step of creating them as PDF as well. I'm going to click High Quality Print because I'd like to print these out on my desktop printer. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click quickly on Output File. And I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell Bridge to export this onto my desktop. And I'm going to call it Howie's Oman Photos. And click Save. Oops. And now let's take a look at our report. This is just a summary of what our end result is going to be. We have the number of images selected, 12. That's correct. Number of images per page, 6. Number of pages, 2. That's exactly what I was going for. So we're looking like we're in good shape. I'm going to save these settings so that if I came back to this later and wanted to create more contact sheets using the same settings I just took five minutes to enter, I can select those quickly and not have to enter them again. And for these, I'm going to say Howie's Oman Photos 2. Click OK. And let's go to page setup quickly. And remember, I chose three columns, two rows. That's more of a landscape format. So I'm going to leave landscape selected. I believe portrait's the default. So be sure to double check that. And for your margins, uh, half inch all the way around is absolutely fine. So I'm going to click OK, and we are good to go. So let's click on OK and see what happens. And right away, InDesign opens, and contact sheets are being generated. And if you have hundreds and hundreds of images, this may take a bit of time. But uh, for these 12, it took no time at all. And even if you have hundreds of images, um, and you had to sit there for, say, two, three minutes waiting for these contact sheets to be generated, well, think about comparing that to manually placing each and every photo and then pasting in all this uh, file information below each one, and that would take hours and hours and hours. And see, now we're already done. So in InDesign, we have our first contact sheet, page one. I'm going to turn the guides off. Uh, the default is to have these frames around the photos. That's fine by me if I'm just using this as a reference. I don't really care about that, although I could select these and go into, say, my stroke palette and, and turn those off or set those to zero if I'd like. Um, so you can, obviously, now that you're in InDesign, customize this further. But that's all looking good to me. We have the file name. We have the date created below each one. I'm going to go down to page two. And again, here are the second page uh, uh, with the following six photos on it. And again, that's perfect. So let's go over to Acrobat and take a look at our PDF. And again, it's basically an exact replica of the InDesign file. And this is good to print. So we're done. I mean, that took... Really, if you got in the swing of things, this would just take a couple minutes to generate. And you can literally create contact sheets of hundreds of photos in just a matter of a few minutes. So that's our tutorial for the day. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something. And tune in next time to the InDesign Junkie. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.